Hey everyone, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to my channel Ask Your Pharmacist. In this video, I'm going to talk about thyroid disorders and how to identify hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. But first, let's understand what is thyroid. Thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped small organ that's located in front of your neck wrapped around your windpipe. It's a small organ, but with a very important job of releasing and controlling thyroid hormone, which controls metabolism, meaning it processes your food and transforms it into energy. The thyroid gland is able to control your metabolism with the help of two main hormones, T3 and T4. In normal circumstances, when your thyroid is working properly, it'll maintain the right amount of T4 and T3 hormones, and it'll keep your metabolism working at the right rate. Well, here's a fun fact. Your thyroid gland is supervised by another gland of your body called pituitary gland, and this gland monitors the amount of thyroid hormone in bloodstream. When the pituitary gland senses the decrease or increase of thyroid levels in your body, it will make the necessary adjustments right away and maintain the balance using its own hormone. Now, this hormone is called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. In other words, TSH is a rescue hormone produced by pituitary gland and sent to the thyroid gland where it bosses around telling it what needs to be done to get the body back into normal condition. Well, that's the normal mechanism of thyroid. Now let's see what happens in thyroid disorder. Thyroid disorder occurs when your thyroid gland either produces too much or too little thyroid hormone. When too much thyroid hormone is produced, your body uses energy too quickly. This is called hyperthyroidism. Using energy too quickly is not very good as it will not only make you tired faster, but it will also increase your heart rate. On the flip side of this, if your thyroid is damaged, it will make too little thyroid hormone. This is called hypothyroidism. When you have very small amount of thyroid hormone, your metabolism slows down and you get several symptoms that I'll share in the later part of the video. But for now, let's see how to diagnose thyroid disorder. One of the most accurate ways to diagnose thyroid disorder is through blood tests. You can get your blood drawn from a healthcare professional and get it tested for TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone. A high level means you have hypothyroidism and here is the normal range. T4 levels are also tested for the diagnosis. A low level of T4 indicates hypothyroidism and a higher level indicates hyperthyroidism. And here is the normal range. In addition to these tests, in some cases, thyroid scan, ultrasound or thyroid antibody tests can also be done for the diagnosis of thyroid disorder. Now let's say you are diagnosed with thyroid disorder and have started your medication. Well now it's important that you continue to monitor some parameters. For example, it's important to monitor your symptoms and get your TSH levels checked every four to six months until levels are normal. If you notice your symptoms are in control, then you can decrease the follow-up time to every six months. And if everything still goes good, you can reduce the follow-up time from six months to yearly. Also, it's important to monitor symptoms with age as dose reduction may be needed in elderly individuals because too high dosage of thyroid medications in elderly patients can cause irregular heart rate and fracture. Now let's see how you can identify whether you have hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Let's first talk about common signs of hypothyroidism. Now in hypothyroidism, you may feel tired or fatigue, uh, gain weight, experience forgetfulness. Uh, women may have frequent or heavy menstruation. Uh, you may have dry or coarse hair, coarse voice, uh, slow heart rate, uh, dry skin, constipation. Uh, you could also have fluid retention, which may make you feel bloated or just have puffiness on your face. Now, if you notice these symptoms, everything in hypothyroidism has kind of slowed down. Because remember, I mentioned earlier that thyroid hormone helps in metabolism. So lesser amount of hormone means less metabolism and consequently, everything is slowed down. Now signs and symptoms of hyper... 
Now, signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism are opposite to hypothyroidism. Think of hyperthyroidism as high energy and high metabolism. Uh, this is also called Graves' disease. And actually, it's more dreadful than hypothyroidism. Now, in this condition, instead of feeling tired, you may have agitation and irritability, uh, poor concentration, reduced menstrual blood flow, uh, racing heartbeat or, or palpitations. However, your digestive system may speed up and move faster. So now you're having more frequent bowel moments. This means your appetite is increased. Well, in general, remember, it could be hard to tell if you have thyroid abnormalities because all of these symptoms may get mixed up with other health conditions easily. But most importantly, remember, if you almost always feel tired or you have what is known as a brain fog or you're gaining weight you are hyper or anxious or you're sweating more than usual and this is going on for quite some time now then talk to your doctor right away as you may have thyroid disorder remember thyroid disorder is easily manageable if diagnosed early and treated with suitable medications well if you suffer from hyper or hypothyroidism let me know in the comments what symptoms you experience. I'd love to hear from you. I'll take off for now, but don't forget to join me in my next video in which I'm going to talk about levothyroxine, a very commonly used medication to treat hypothyroidism. To watch that video, all you need to do is click the link up there or in the description. To stay in the loop, subscribe now and watch my new videos I release every week. I'll see you next time. Remember to stay safe and healthy.